To round off the experimental engines, how about we bear witness to the biggest locomotive built by the Great Western Railway when they attempted to build their own Pacific-style express engine. In 1908, the head engineer of the company, George Jackson Churchwood, designed Britain's first ever Pacific locomotive named the Great Bear. At the time, the GWR was primarily using Churchwood's very successful star class of locomotive, which had recently been implemented. While the GWR didn't need a new or improved type of engine at the time, it was likely that Churchwood was considering the future, as the GWR was the biggest railway company in Britain before the grouping of 1921. The Great Bear was based on the already existing star class in design, but with longer frames, bigger cylinders, a bigger boiler, and a bigger firebox. The engine was fairly powerful with a high tractive effort, however was considered disappointing in performance and didn't have the significant improvement in performance that Churchwood wanted. It was modified and upgraded, but none of the changes helped boost its performance. After the Star Class proved to be effective and efficient engines, and with the advent of World War I, experimentation on the Great Bear was stopped unless a significant improvement could be made in its performance. The design also restricted where the engine could go, as it was too heavy for some parts of the railway and and too long for others. Despite this, the engine acted as great publicity for the railway, being used as the GWR's flagship locomotive until 1923 when Charles Collett, the new railway engineer, introduced the Castle class of locomotive, which had a slightly smaller 460 wheel arrangement, but was pretty much better in every way. After that, the Great Bear had no more public value and was considered an embarrassment. It was due for heavy repairs in January of 1924, and so it was decided that the engine should be scrapped as it no longer served a use. Despite being used mostly as a showpiece, it ran roughly 527,000 miles while in service. After being broken up, only the front portion of the frames and the engine's number were reused to ironically build a new castle locomotive. The rest was scrapped. Similarly to Hush Hush, the engine wasn't a total failure in that it managed to do the work it was designed to do, but not giving any better performance than the locomotives currently in use. Nobody really knows how Church would felt about the engine, with some saying his dislike for the bear was well known, and others saying he had a deep affection for it, although he came to regard it as more of a white elephant than a great bear. Supposedly, he was disappointed to hear the engine was scrapped, and upon hearing Nigel Gresley wanted to build his own Pacific engine for the Great Northern Railway in 1921, it's said that Churchwood replied, What did that young man want to build it for? We could have sold him ours! Subscribe for more.